Hi guys and welcome to Tesla Electron. Keith here. Uh, glad that you're with me today. I uh, hope you enjoy today's video. Now mostly I am a Tesla channel and of course I'm Tesla Electron. I'm a Tesla bull. Uh, I own Tesla shares. I love all things Tesla and I believe that Tesla ultimately will do very, very well. But their whole mission was to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. And initially it was to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable transport. That was their vision back in the early days, 2006. And it changed when they bought Solar City and they changed it. They changed the transport to energy, which makes perfect sense for what they're actually trying to achieve. So I am Tesla, but in saying that, um, I think that even uh, the United States and uh, the government now have started to say things like Tesla have been their largest EV manufacturer and have actually pushed the transition forward. So they've actually achieved their goal and I, and I, and I applaud Tesla and Elon Musk for what they've done in that area. But there are others coming online now like BYD. Now BYD is a Chinese company. Jump over to the Wikipedia. Good old Wikipedia. It's not perfect, but it's, it's great to have something like this that can be you can contribute to if you've got knowledge in an area. I even sent them a donation recently so that they would stay alive. So I think it's important for this sort of information to be pulled in from the you know, brain download, as it were. ID Auto, build your dreams is what it stands for, is the automotive subsidiary of the Chinese multinational BYD Co. headquarters in Xi'an, uh, XC province. It was founded in 2003 following BYD's company acquisition of Quinchang Automotive Company in 2002. The company produces cars, buses, trucks, electric bicycles, forklifts and rechargeable batteries. The current model range of automotive auto, automobiles includes electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid vehicles and petrol engine vehicles. Mostly BYD is heading down the electric line and initially they were actually a battery manufacturer. So that's really their claim to fame. And I thought it would be great for us to have a look at the vehicle that has come into Australia. I got this from BYD's YouTube public site and it is available for use. So let's have a look at that now. BYD has been sharpening the sword for 10 years now in the development of the next generation E6. Its development has followed data and feedback from drivers and passengers all around the world. The design is meant to evoke emotions with the dragon face design language prevalently expressed in the front fascia. In Eastern culture, the dragon is a symbol of happiness and luck and is seen as a guardian angel. As a pure electric vehicle, there is no need for a traditional grille, giving designers greater artistic freedom in creating their designs. The E6 offers generous storage space with 580 liters of storage capacity. Safety is further enhanced by a CN95 air filtration system, offering medical grade face mask levels of air purification. The center console features a large rotating touch screen, which replaces several physical buttons and switches and can display important functions in portrait and landscape mode. The E6 also features a Dragon Heart center console control panel, which allows the driver to operate the vehicle without taking their eyes off the road, improving safety. The next generation E6 is built on the BYD E platform. The E platform integrates the most important electric powertrain components, reducing weight, optimizing efficiency, and improving the driving experience. 
The next generation E6 builds on its legendary predecessor while making improvements in every relevant detail, reimagining the EV of tomorrow. BYD sets a new industry benchmark, and it does so with one of the single greatest innovations of the automotive industry, the blade battery. The Blade battery is a new generation cobalt-free LFP battery that sets new benchmarks in safety, reliability, performance, and power density. If you ask most E6 owners around the world what are their main requirements for an EV, they're going to tell you that they are safety and efficiency. The Blade battery excels in both of these categories. For efficiency, the power density of the Blade battery allows for a driving range greater than 500 kilometers, a number previously inconceivable for LFP batteries in a passenger vehicle package. The Blade battery also features superb hot and cold weather performance, allowing the E6 to operate in even the harshest environments. Charging time has also been greatly reduced, now requiring just 90 minutes to reach a full charge. For safety, BYD has made the testing videos public, showing overcharging, short-circuiting, crushing, bending, incineration, and even nail penetration. None of these caused the blade battery to enter an unsafe condition. The driving experience has been driven by a philosophy of using technology to optimize the experience. The electric motor offers instant torque off the line with smooth, linear throttle response. The transmission is a quiet, smooth, single speed, eliminating the need for gear shifts. The chassis has been developed by world chassis expert Heinz Keck and features front McPherson struts and rear multi-link suspension, giving the next generation E6 precise control and agility. In electric vehicles, NVH is far more challenging as there is no ambient noise to mask noise, vibration, and harshness from the chassis and drivetrain. BYD's world-class NVH laboratory specifically tackles the challenge of NVH in electric vehicles, with the E6 offering a smooth, quiet, and comfortable experience at all speeds. BYD's world-class EMC laboratory ensures compliance in every major auto market in the world. The braking system on the next generation E6 features Bosch IPB with extremely fast response times and smooth linear braking feel. The regenerative brakes on the next generation E6 are capable of harvesting energy from as low as two kilometers an hour. Optimizing efficiency has been paramount in every aspect of the E6 design. The next generation E6 offers more than 500 kilometers of range on the NEDC standard, with DC 60 kilowatt charging delivering a full charge in 1.5 hours, and AC 40 kilowatt charging delivering a full charge in two hours. The E6 is also compatible with 6.6 kilowatt and 3.3 kilowatt home chargers. The next generation E6 is already arriving in right-hand drive markets, featuring the dragon face design, large interior space, safety, reliability, and high efficiency. It can be ordered from our distributors today. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next one. Well, there you go. Um, that was a pretty good okay so that was an interesting presentation um, it's great to see um, it's interesting though that they have to advertise <laughs> that's one thing that Tesla doesn't have to do as much advertising we're probably much we're all of us youtubers and social media is doing it for them but here we are um, where you buy it in Australia Okay, so you might be wondering, how, where do I get hold of this thing? You buy it from evdirect.com.au. And as you can see, it's sold out. Have a copy. So it's sold out. Um, I'm not sure when the next ones will come in. Who knows, really? You can inquire. 
Um, it's got some interesting things here about the same as what, what was said in the video. It's got uh, 520 kilometer range, probably not real world, but uh, it's still going to, that's very high range. I love my Model 3, don't get me wrong, and uh, but the one thing it doesn't do very well is put stuff in the boot. So it's got a great big boot, but it doesn't, the back doesn't lift up. So if I've got anything big, I can't get it into the car. A hatchback like this would be just absolutely fantastic. And I would love to see a hatch um, for that very purpose. And this is just the website on the EV Direct uh, showing the same things that was in the video pretty much. And uh, it even takes it back to that video. Uh, but here in My Electric Car, uh, the website, uh, myelectriccar.com.au, they've actually got a bit of a spec run down here. Uh, all those same things. And the important detail, of course, for you and I here in Australia is how much will it cost? So here we go, uh, here we go, <laughs> here we go. Uh, the price will be $39,999 uh, plus on road. So say add another $7,000 to that in Australia uh, by the time, although if you get in, if, if they're available and you could get one now, potentially you could get the $5,000 uh, government grant to or the three thousand dollar grant and the two and a half two and a half thousand dollars off your stamp duty. Um, so that means that you would be paying forty two, forty two thousand. That's pretty pretty good. That's pretty good. The only comparable vehicle, no, in price wise, would be the MG, the MG SV. Uh, but the MGSV has only got 268 k's of range, so it's it's yeah very low range. This is a great price for the range that you get, if that's accurate, of course. So um, the BYD obviously is using the Blade battery technology, which is LFP, and so it's you know about LFPs. If you don't jump over to the limiting factor uh, Jordan Gazetti Gazetti I think his name is something like that sorry Gazi Gazi I can't say his name even I apologize good Jordan um, so but nevertheless uh, he's got a great um, series here on battery tech and holy dooly does he go through the battery tech he goes down to the nitty gritty. So there's one here on the BYD blade battery. And as you can see, I watch a lot of his videos. Um, it's simply because uh, he, I like tech. Um, so if you are if you like tech as well, you'll love the limiting factor with Jordan. Um, this video of Jordan here on the blade battery was very good. And uh, he talks about the density the difference between the density of the different chemistries, um, the pros and the cons. Um, he goes down into the nitty gritty of how that actually works. Um, it's very good. I would suggest you having a look at that if you want more details on the uh, blade battery technology. And he's got a great series at the moment on batteries, um, including solid state, the whole works um he's gone through the whole thing uh very deep dive um he has a patreon if you'd like to support him of course um i don't yet have his patreon um if that's something that you would think you would be interested in let me know in the comments uh, if not you know um because otherwise it's just it's just more work for for no benefit so, but if, if the viewers want to see something like that, sure, I'll do a Patreon and, and do something on there. So that's my take on the BYD, um, particularly here in Australia. I think that it's going to have a bit of a an uptake if they can get them to scale. So in an article this morning in The Driven, I saw that they were talking about 
BYD aims to be the second car company to reach 1 million EV sales in a year. So Tesla's well on the way, of course. They're talking about how uh, BYD uh, believes they're going to make. So here we go. According to Chinese reports of recent investor conference call, BYD monthly sales of new energy vehicles is already approaching 100,000 units. Thus, BYD expects to sell around 600,000 battery electric vehicles and between 500,000 and 600,000 plug-in hybrid vehicles. BYD saw total sales reaching 97,242, an increase of 84%. Well, that makes sense because they've got the range and the price. So the range plus the price equals sales. It's a no-brainer. You've got a vehicle that can do 500 Ks on a charge. I don't know if that is in miles, but if you can do um, 500 kilometers on a charge and you're only paying 40 grand for the vehicle, that's a game changer. It really is. So um, I suppose the verdict's out yet as to the battery life, how long that'll last, all of those kinds of things. Look, it'll get better. No two ways about it. So I think. Uh, as a competitor, I think BYD seem to be hitting all of the right things. My point being is that BYD have a good offer. It's a good vehicle if they can meet demand. If they can't, Tesla's going to eat their lunch. I can see that people are going to think, oh, you know, all the competition's coming, the competition's coming. Heck, they've been saying the competition's coming for Tesla for a decade. And we're still waiting for something reasonable to come out. You know, Hyundai have got got a reasonable offering as well. It'll do four. Uh, the Kona will do four hundred odd kilometres. The Ioniq will do three hundred odd, I think. So there are some good offerings out there, but they're almost the same price as the Tesla. My issue when I went looking was Tesla, Hyundai. Tesla or Hyundai, you know, what am I going to get my the best return on the value for my dollar? And when I sell it later, what's that cost going to be? I hope that the video is interesting to you. And if you would let me know down below in the comments, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon. Yeah.